All right, it is the first snowfall here in Indiana, but today I'm headed to Illinois. We've got some lights to program. The full-time technical director at this church is a very smart dude who actually runs his own business now, and he doesn't have time to come in and deal with lighting. So that's where I come in. He's brought me in to try and wrangle all of these lights and program this for universe uh, Champsis. Campsis? This is a really nice room to work in for lighting. I don't love being over here in the corner, so we're only going to do colors here in the corner. All of the fixtures in this rig are a U-King product. Last time, I've pretty much gone through and set all my colors, but last time I went to do mover positions, they were all jacked up because I programmed from over there, so my point of view was all jacked up. So I've got a couple of, I don't know, 50 or 75 foot DMX cables and uh, I've got myself more centralized so I can see what is happening, uh, what's going on. Like now I can tell with my hazer on that I have a light literally shining into his piano. So we can't do that. Um, I kind of like the side angles going into the drums. That's kind of trick. So I am going to program um, fixtures. So we've got the whole back wall that can change colors we've got um a front fill we've got like a band fill right here and then we've got these pars and we've got some like uh, small front movers um but we will take a look Uh, whatever Model 7R these are is just like ridiculously loud. It is ridiculously loud. Um, so we've got three little lights there. We are. Is it warm? It's not too warm. All right, I'm all hazered out, man. Jeez, this is a lot of haze. Okay, maybe maybe we'll. Turn the hazer off. More haze equals more praise. I legit at one point filled the sanctuary full of haze that you could cut with a knife. It was a bit wild. I think we are sufficiently hazed. Okay, we're going to set some positions and let's see what happens. They counted you out, but you're still here. One more breath, one more round. You come too far to back down now. Dig deep, stand tall, no fear, no mercy. This is the grind, this is the moment. Show her what you made of. getting somewhere um it's kind of cool i'm gonna fire up the haze a little more here um but yeah we got to do some probably some gobo work here um but colors are coming together well still working on positions um because i got a lot of lights i got a lot of lights in a little area and I've got a lot of obstacles. I've got a lot of people on stage. I've got a lot of mic stands. I've got PA. I've got crosses. I've got projectors. And I have unsymmetrical stages. Like there's a baptism on one side that's not on the other side. Um, yeah, just a lot of different, a lot of different things going on, and uh, it makes it interesting. Mm -hmm. This is a big light rig for a church of this size. I mean, you see these beams moving around. The, the room sounds great because they've done some treatment. The PA is a JBL 9, 
1006 PA that fills this room. Four subs. It's a great technical setup for a church of its size. Um, concerts in this room are going to be awesome. The rig has six different fixtures in it. Um, and with six different fixtures, that can get a little weird to manage. So, yeah, it's a little wonky, but it's cool. Eventually, I was able to get some gobos in and get those in focus. Also, inserting a prism really widened um, the seven R's up, added some texture to the stage. Overall, things are just getting better and better here. We have an issue with one of our lights, and we tried to figure it out, but I ended up giving it another lighting address, and everything kind of resolved itself there. So, we're ready to go for a show. Well, it looks like I had something wrong with my addresses because when I put that light on the other light, it worked and it shouldn't be. And I just don't understand. But that doesn't matter because we have results that we're happy with. We are under control and we have an artist coming up um, here in a few days, actually. Pretty big artist. Um, and I think I'll be back to program, well, to run lights uh, for that show. So um, I look forward to doing that show and documenting as much as I can. The Yamaha DM7 series, um, extremely well for my book. There's a lot of stuff in there that I haven't been able to show just because of like timing and it was more important that I got the DMs uh, installed and working. Um, we will here soon have a like breakthrough rundown kind of channel and sub mixes and things of how that system works. So stay tuned if you want to see that as well. Um, if you haven't seen the DM series, I will get a video probably over here uh, for you to watch. And thanks again for being here.